and your system requirements is parameter is minimum requirements browser latest version of mozilla firefox or chrome operating system windows 7 mac os 10.12 then processor dual core ram minimum 5 to 2, 512 mb preferred 1 to 2 gb web camera we need microphone screen resolution is mentioned network response not more than 1000 ms network port and protocol network bandwidth 1 mb minimum and 2 mb preferred so please uh, take a screenshot of this measurements uh, and try to maintain it only and other than this will be considered as a malpractice which may lead like uh, you may be disqualified from the test detained right Okay, student. So we'll proceed with the session now. Yeah, Pawan, sir, so you can continue, sir. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, as you know, this is the last session, and uh, again, here as we did in our last or previous session, this time also we'll just look into the entire full length of an CET biology paper uh, and try to answer as much as possible. Uh, see, uh, uh, by now, I hope uh, all the students, you know, what is the importance of practicing the questions. And since this is uh, our last class, uh, it will be very good if you can make attempt by yourself until and unless you start attempting to answer uh, you know, no matter how many times you keep on listening to these lectures, uh, it will be of not much use uh, until you start answering the questions. So uh, I would really love to see uh, you people trying to answer, uh, you know, at, at least attempt, whether it is you're giving right or wrong answer, it is secondary, but please try to answer the questions which comes in the screens. Uh, yeah, let us start with the first question. Uh, the given figure shows transfer section of Elianthus leaf. Elianthus is the genus name of, uh, for example, the sunflower leaf with various parts labeled from A to F. Identify the parts and select the correct option. So the moment when I say it is... Uh, Sunflower, first thing that should, and when you talk about dicot, dicot leaf shows what is called as uh, dorsi ventral type of leaf, which means it will be having more stomata on the abaxial region, wherein abaxial means the lower side, and it will be having less stomata on the adaxial region, that is on the upper side. And they will be having two types of mesophyls, the one which is elongated and which is present towards the adaxial region. It is called as uh, palisade mesophyls. And the one which are freely arranged towards the abaxial region, it is called as uh, spongy mesophyls. So obviously, you will be having uh, epidermis. So A represents epidermis, which is true in all the options. B represents palisade uh, parenchyma, whereas in option A, it is given as spongy parenchyma, not correct. So it is true for B, C, and D. C represents loosely arranged with just spongy parenchyma, and it is true for again B, C, and D. D represents stomata, again, it is true for B, C, and D. E represents uh, the structure which is called as uh, okay it is not very clear yet but uh, f definitely represents xylem so f definitely represents xylem so b will be not correct and there is no such structure called as endodermis in case of leaf uh, this structure what you see in the leaf it is said to be uh, bundle sheet cells 
this is bundle sheet cells. So endodermis cannot be correct answer. So the answer should be D. Answer should be D. Yeah, I can see somebody giving the answer as B. Uh, Chandan, I hope it is clear. The answer should be D. It cannot be B uh, because E, it is present towards the lower region. In leaf, what is present towards the lower region is uh, phloem and what is present towards the upper region, it will be xylem. I hope it is clear, uh, Chandan R. Okay. Next question. Movement of molecules of either solids, gases, or liquids from the region of the higher concentration to region of the lower concentration is called as quite a straightforward question. The answer should be diffusion. Uh, it cannot be osmosis because in case of osmosis, what is transported is uh, only or what is moved is either water or you can call it as solvent. So it cannot be B. Even in imbibition also, it will be movement of water, but it will move to uh, from higher concentration to lower concentration that is into the solid or colloidal substance such as seed and helps it in swelling up. In case of active transportation also, it will be movement of any solid gases or liquid, but it will move from uh, lower concentration to higher concentration. And that happens with the expense of energy in the form of ATP. So it cannot be active imbibition and osmosis. So the answer should be diffusion. Yeah, I can see Josna answering as C. I hope you understand that C cannot be correct answer because in imbibition, we are talking only about, uh, we are talking only about movement of water into solid or colloidal substance. Next question. Match column one with column two and select the correct option from the choices given below. Uh, see the words such as hypo, hyper, and isotonic. Uh, first, let us try to understand this. Suppose if there is some pure water present inside some beaker, the water potential of a pure water without any solute in it. Please understand without any solute. Pure water will be having water potential of zero. So this yeah. So to this, if you start adding the solute, there is solvent already. If you start adding solute to it, such as NaCl, sucrose, etc., the water potential of this it is going to start decreasing water potential decreases with addition of with addition of solute so when you add solute water potential is going to decrease so higher the concentration of solute lower will be the water potential andre solute jaasti aagta hodage water potential kadme aagta hogutte so here the word ipo as you know the word ipo it means low or less. Ipo means less. Iper. Iper means more. And iso is same. So, what is the rest of the thing is about tonic. What does tonic represent here? Tonic represents the concentration of solute. Concentration of solute in all of them. So, as you can understand, hypotonic means it will be having less solute. If it is having less solute, what will happen is its water potential it will become more. As you know, osmosis is movement of water from its higher potential to lower water potential. Agadre hypotonic nalidaga water moves into the cell, which means if the solution is hypotonic, 
and if you keep an cell inside it, and if you say hypotonic has higher water potential, if the water potential just there, water will move from its higher water potential to lower water potential. So A should match with two. When you say hypertonic, it means hyper means more solute. If it is having more solute, it means water potential, it will be less. If it is water potential is less outside, if water potential is less outside, it will move from higher water potential, that is from inside the cell to outside, which means water moves out of the cell. Isotonic means both are same water potential, so there is no net water movement. So A matches with 2, B matches with 3, so the answer should be A. Next question. Yeah, this seems to be a little previous old uh, CET question, but as per the revised CET, these questions may not be arising. Because you do not have uh, the structure of fish in morphological structure. But anyway, A is nostril, B is eyes, common in all of them. Uh, you can find the anus of the fish in this region, and then E will be uh, anal fish. E will be anal fish. So the only correct option according to this it should be D. Sorry, C. Uh, so C will be dorsal fin, as you can see it is present on the dorsal side, so it will be dorsal fin. Uh, clauda and the tail and the clauda means tail. So the fin which is present towards tail, it will be called as claudal fin, so it is correct. E as I told you, it is anal fin. Uh, F is pelvic fin and G is pectoral fin. So the answer for fourth question should be C. Next question. So the joint in which two or more bones are fixed in its place and bears like peg, like process over which bones rotates is called as. If you can recall our body structure and try to think about which structure or which joint in our body will uh, move or rotate over the other bone. One bone mele inon bone itu, other male rotate ago bone yaudun tanudra in body nali. I hope you know skull kela gade vertebrate shurwagata. Vertebrate nali. Axis matto atlas anta erd first and second vertebral bones barat. Adhru madhya ero joints anna it is called as pivot joint. So the joint in which one of the two bones is fixed and its place in its place and bears like a peg. Andre idu modulne vertebral bone andre. Idu yerdne vertebral bone andre. Yerdne vertebral bone it is fixed and bears like a peg. In on the other male erodu, it is going to rotate over the second bone. E thara the joints gana, it is called as pivot joint. So the answer should be C. Saddle joint cellular, it is present in our uh, wrist. Wristnally, you may remember there are bones called as uh, phalanges. Saddle and gotirabod nimge, kudre mela kuntarala, kudre melon charmudi tara kuntar. It is called as saddle joint. Inch joint it is present in our uh, ankle. Andre Inamdu Kai Tara join Agiratala Pade. You know, inch like um, Mane Dori Gela Injak Taritara Injakirodu, one side Nali Matra rotate Agat, Ege, Ege. Ether the injoint Elirathan Telera Nama elbow Gulli. For example, if this is our bone called as uh, humerus bone and colleague, 
ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ನ ಅಂತ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ರೇಡಿಯಸ್ ಅಲ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೋ ಈ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಂಜ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ you can remember this diagram from your uh, ncert book based on that can you please try to answer the question as i told you in the beginning please try to uh, give answers so that it will be in practice for this last class nalu ella adannu teachers gale helta kutkolli anta helidre it doesn't make sense so you are giving the answer as c uh, somebody has given it as d the correct answer should be c see as you know uh, the diagram what you see is from tobacco mosaic virus and tobacco mosaic will, virus will be always having a single stranded rna tobacco mosaic virus nal irodene single stranded rna uh, and what you find here this entire structure in it or then a capsid and the caribe and capsids each unit of capsids are called as capsomere so answer should be c next two questions see uh, just two three points let, let us try to cover two three points for each one of them but i think uh, each chap- seventh question you know it comes from a chapter called plant growth and development and i think it is de- deleted from cet if i am correct but still early plant growth regulators will not know right if you look at the plant growth regulator there is auxin and auxin is important for root initiation you vegetative propagation cutting anta nodidira cutting vegetative propagation maduvaga ee tara ondu stem anna tagondre if you can dip the part of the stem which will put into soil soil olagade hoguva stem anna auxin nige expose maadi aamele mannu olagade gaakutre ಇದರಿಂದ ರೂಟ್ ಗಳು ಸುಲಭವಾಗಿ ಉಟ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನಿಶಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ರೂಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸೈಟೋಕೈನಿನ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನಿಶಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಶೂಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಎಪಿಕಲ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸಿ ಐಮ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೈಟೋಕೈನಿನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಎಪಿಕಲ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆನ್ಸಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಗೆ ವಿರುದ್ಧವಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡುತ್ತದೆ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಇನಿಶಿಯೇಟ್ ರೂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ cytokinin is going to initiate the shoot by breaking the apical dominance induced by auxin uh, gibberlin gibberlins na nimge nyapta idre it is known for inducing uh, uh, fruit ripening sorry ethylene is known for fruit ripening uh, gibberlin is known for inducing seed germination gibberlic acids gal en madutte andre seed germination ge help agutte in other words it is going to break apical dominancy sorry seed dormancy seed dormancy na induce madod yavudu andre seed dormancy is induced by abscisic acid andre seed anna seed germinate agodrinda tadiyutte why it should reduce or why it should prevent seed germination is uh, so that it will give sufficient time for the maturation of embryo embryo mature aglikoskar so it got time for like abscisic acid is going to prevent seed germination or it is going to induce seed dormancy whereas gibberlic acid is going to break seed dormancy cytokinins are going to help in chloroplast development in leaf especially it is going to help in chloroplast development in case of ing leaf because it is going to remobilize magnesium ions ethylene is known for inducing fruit ripening 
ethylene is a gaseous plant growth regulator which is known for inducing fruit ripening. Yeah, so now if you can match it, uh, it matches with this, B matches with one, so the answer should be A. Good. Next one. Now, you think importance is not in the world, but please make sure that this it is clearly understood. Uh, column number one is very, very phylum. There are different phylums in column number one. In column number two, they have given important characters. A phylum gradually convey important characters. Uh, in case of porifera, what you find is water canal system. If you can recall porifera, the lithara idra structure, otherly pores gradually are there. Body gradually holes gradually are there. Adrin dhanya adarna porifera anta kariyo. Water enters through that and goes out. These pores are called as ostia. The main opening that you find here is called as osculum. So water enters through ostia, goes through spongoceal. Spongoceal mukantra hogi achegvarat. So adana water canal system anta karitar. Ascalimentus is the first phylum which develops muscular pharynx. You know, pharynx is one of the structure which you find in case of uh, digestive system. Digestive system, the first digestive system complete, complete digestive system develop ascalimentus. Also remember that ascalimentus is known for having pseudocelomate. One on the phylum pseudocelomate is Anilida is one such phylum which is going to show metamerization. And their bodies, it is uh, segmented. Body nearly segment segmentation uh, Body segmentation kano do namge bari mure mure phylum nali. Vandu anilida, inno vandu arthropoda, inno vandu chordata. I am repeating anilida, orthropoda, matto chordata dali matra metameric segmentation kano. Anilida lagda dre externally no segment agirate, internally no segment agirate. Orthropoda dali bari externally, chordata dali lagda bari internally. So I am sure you people know orthropoda are called as orthropoda because it will be having jointed appendages. Orthro anta dre ne joint anta. Oda and the legs. So jointed legs are for jointed appendages in organisms like arthropoda. And one more character, I hope you know, arthropoda will be having arthropoda will be having exoskeleton, which will be made up of an polysaccharide called as chitin. Echinodermatas are those which will be having what is called as water vascular system, which is not found in any other phylum. Where you have phylum nalirodila, water vascular system bearer, water canal system bearer. Water canal system on the other just like near Vada Ibundu Achego, water canal system nali. Water vascular system nali, water it will be transported throughout the body and then exits out. That is found in case of echinodermata. So A matches with one, B matches with uh, three, so the answer should be C. Yeah, the answer should be C. Next one, figure given here relates to female reproductive system of frog, identified parts labeled A to D. Uh, see, female reproductive system obviously will be having an ovary in it. Testis on Tuirala, ovary. There is no ovary, ovary sac here. What you see in A is ovary. Uh, please understand and remember this. Male reproductive system only matra you will find urinogenital duct. I am repeating. Only in male reproductive system, 
the duct carries both urine it carries urine as well as it is going to carry sperm adukoskara frog in a male reproductive system nalli there will be urinogenital duct whereas in case of female bee which is going to carry only urine you might be knowing that uh, kidney in the the kidney kidney in the urine anna thagondogo fibula structure anna it is called as ureter anta karitara so b agadre ureter aagbeku so the answer should be a c on the other hand it carries uh, egg idrinda egg galu athwa ova galu release aagiddu it will enter into ovarian funnel idru mukhantra hogutte adukoskara it is called as oviduct which is similar to structure what we see as fallopian tube in case of humans and then d is ov sac where it will be temporarily stored and then it gets out so the answer should be a what is true about end product of glycolysis so I'll just wait for a couple of minutes and i request you people to answer it important adr jothege easy kuda so i'm just waiting for your answers can see janavi ravi has given us a so what is true about end product of glycolysis is if you can remember glycolysis nalli glucose irodu it will be broken down into two molecules of pyruvic acid i hope you remember glucose nalli r carbon iruthe c6h12o6 anta karithara ಪೈರುವಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೂರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದೊಂದು ಮಾಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ ನಲ್ಲೂ ಮೂರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎರಡು ಸೇರಿ ಒಟ್ಟು ಆರ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀಪಾಸ್ಪೋ ಗ್ಲಿಸರಾಲ್ ಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಇರೋದು ರೀಪಾಸ್ಪೋ ಗ್ಲಿಸರಿಕ್ ಆಸಿಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಇರೋದು it will be converted into nadh2 in a sense nad it will be reduced to nadh2 and uh, this will get oxidized to uh, three phospho glyceric acid agi oxidize agutte idu eradu molecule nal agodrinda it is going to produce two molecules of uh, all this so eradu pyruvic acid irutte eradu nadh2 produce agutte ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು gross atp 4 aadre net atp annodadre you can subtract 2 from it so net atp that you are going to get is 2 atp so the answer should be a see i can still see only few of you are answering uh, if you are really serious about these exams uh, please don't hesitate to give the answer especially see it in a little because anyway there is no negative marking so yochane maadi uttra kodi illa andre go for elimination technique or go for at least which could, could which could be the most nearest answer atharanadru kodta hogi you answer maadakkene munde barlilla ant helidre attitude nimge exam hall allu barala so please make sure that you are attempting that questions genus is a group of similar and related uh, you know with respect to hierarchy of classification there is uh, kingdom 
phylum or division class order family genus and species so this to one particular sequence nalli arrange agidre hierarchy idre il question iru genus is a group of similar and related genus it is a group of different types of species related species galella ottige seri same character in those species will allow to get seri genus are so the answer should be c for level question answer should be c i can see many of you are giving answer very good lungs are enclosed in a structure called as pleural membrane you may remember there are two pleural membranes one is outer and the other one is inner visceral and parietal pleura and the carithara visceral and parietal visceral is inner parietal is outer adrolagade pleural fluid thumkondirutha and pleural fluid is going to act as lubricant i'm repeating pleural fluid is going to act as lubricant pericardium anta helidre it is a membrane which encloses the heart pericontrium anta helidre it is a membrane which is going to enclose the cartilage peritoneum ant helidre it is a cavity which will be present inside the peritoneal cavity olagade irodu andre nama abdomen cavity olagade iro jaga adu so answer should be c next based on the position of the floral parts on thalamus the flowers are described as hypogynous this is hypogynous a is hypogynous which is also called as superior ovary perigynous this is perigynous that is b is perigynous which is also called as uh, inferior ovary and the character inferior ovary b and d uh, c is sorry uh, c c is perigynous sorry c is perigynous b and d are examples of epigynous which can be called as inferior ovary andre bere ella floral part kinta kelagade which of the following floral form a to d represents the flowers of rosa and prunus respectively rosa and prunus ge respective agirodu ant helidre option b wherein rosa shows uh, rosa shows b and prunus shows c that is rosa shows superior ovary sorry rosa shows uh, b and uh, prunus shows c Fourteenth question. इधर ना उनको आंसर मार बैठनी हो. Please try to answer this. In a modulated nerve fiber, the conduction of impulse is faster. Conduction of impulse is faster due to the presence of pericytes, endoneurium and perineurium, myelin sheets and nodes of Ranvier, Neisser's granules. Uh, you know the structure of neuron. structure of neuron it will be like this it will be having a structure which is called as cell body and inside cell body you will find the presence of nucleus and inside that you will find darkly stained structure which are called as nasal granules idrolagade nasal granules gel kanutte and there will be branches of this which are called as dendrites these are dendrites and then there is an axon which will show what is called as nerve ending with synaptic knob like this 
ನರ್ವ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಿನಾಪ್ಟಿಕ್ ನರ್ವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಾನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮೈಲಿನ್ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಮೈಲಿನ್ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸರೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದೆಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾನ್ವಿಯರ್ and nodes of ranvier along with mil- myelin sheet is going to help in the very faster conduction of electric impulse so the answer should be uh, c that is myelin sheet and nodes of ranvier 15th answer martira can you give me the answer for 15th b b b c see e thara the placentation anna it is called as uh, axial placentation anna karithu marginal placentation yav thara irutte anta helidre please remember the examples as well marginal placentation is found in case of peas e thara idre idu placent aagre ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಈ ತರ ಅಂಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿರುತ್ತೆ ಕಾಳುಗಳು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾರ್ಜಿನಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಪೆರೈಟಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಆಸ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಪಾಯ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸುತ್ತ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ದ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನ್ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ So, ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರೋದು ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೊಮ್ಯಾಟೋ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ವೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ a d b c d d anyway it is very nice to see at least six of you have attempted to answer ishtala suggestion ko to request maadkondu no at least six of you are attempting that's great uh, you know both of them are the structure of stromatal apparatus stromatal apparatus nalli uh, you can find the bean shaped structures in case of dicot i hope you can understand il kottiro the p it is for dicot stomata and c it is for uh, monocot stomata so dicot nalli bean shaped guard cells iruthe so b uh, b anta en label agidyo that should be guard shape sorry guard cells dicot nalli bean shape iruthe monocot nalli dumbbell shape iruthe dumbbell shape in case of uh, monocots uh, so obviously iro the one one possible answer and there are guard cells then a will be stomata and c are the cells which are some found around it which will be called as subsidiary cells the epidermal cells yavudu antu helidre idu these are called as epidermal cells 
ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರೋದು ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲಾದನ್ನು ಓದಿದ್ದೀರಾ ನೀವು ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ವಿ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪೆಂಟೋಸ್ ಅಂತೂ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ಪೆಂಟೋಸ್ ಎರಡ್ ತರ ಪೆಂಟೋಸ್ ಓದಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಒಂದು ರೈಬೋಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಡಿಆಕ್ಸಿ ರೈಬೋಸ್ ಅಂತ ಪೆಂಟೋ ಶುಗರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೆಂಟೋ ಶುಗರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಟೈಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ರೈಬೋಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಡಿಆಕ್ಸಿ ರೈಬೋಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶೋರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಚ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಓ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇರೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೋಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ಯಾಲಾಕ್ಟೋಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೈಸಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮಾಲ್ಟೋಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮಾಲ್ಟೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಮಾಲ್ಟೋಸ್ ಮಾಲ್ಟೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಸುಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫ್ರಕ್ಟೋಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಲಾಕ್ಟೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾಲಾಕ್ಟೋಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಗ್ಲೂಕೋಸ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೋಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೆಟ್ರೋಸ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಡೋ ಎಪ್ಟಿಲೋಸ್ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಏಳ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಟೆಟ್ರೋಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಇರ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ವಿತ್ ತ್ರೀ B matches with 4, C matches with 1, and D matches with 2. So the answer should be C. Good. Worst up. Next one. Uh, which of the following is contractile protein of muscles? which of the following is contractile proteins of muscles muscles na iro the two types of protein one do it is called as myosin and the other one is actin i hope you know the structure of myosin it will be having light meromyosin like this and a heavy meromyosin like this here structure it is idralli you will find two parts in it one is called as actin binding site one than actin binding site and the other innond than atp binding site or at base and the character idu it will bind with the protein which will be present above this which is called as thin filament and the other there are the globular proteins will be there which are called as actin these proteins are called as actin idu g protein all of these g proteins together forms what is called as actin by the way in myosin and what is there are two irutte there will be two myosins bands so tubulin is not at all present here so it is out of question when b is wrong so obviously d also will be wrong tropomyosin is the protein which is present on actin actin may be there tropomyosin but it do not help in contraction so the answer should be c good next question examine the given diagrammatic view of human skull and identify the skull lab bones labeled a to d again i will wait
I am expecting the answer from I am expecting the answer from you because the same diagram is there in your NCERT book, so you have to know it. If you are serious, you have to know it. So the bone that you are seeing here, it is called as uh, frontal bone. This is frontal frontal bone. So, if the frontal bone are there, definitely you can say A is wrong. Good, very good. So, those who have answered really good. E is parietal bone, and there will be two parietal bones. One dilly retta, and on the, the other side of that, it contains parietal bone. B is temporal bone. Again, there will be two parietal and two temporal. Uh, this one is maxil, the upper jaw. Irithala. This one is upper jaw, which is called as maxilla. And the lower jaw is called as mandible. Lower jaw is called as mandible. So the answer should be C. Very good. Ah, this, I think, uh, similar type of question we discussed in our last class also. So please try to answer this again. Those who are interested, please attempt it. I'm getting uh, a wide mixed range of answers, A, B, C, and all. Uh, but this should be an easy answer. Glycolysis takes place in cytoplasm. Glycolysis is common in all organisms, whether prokaryotes or eukaryotes, all organisms shows this mechanism called as glycolysis, which will take place in cytoplasm. PCA, that is tricarboxylic acid, which is also called as Krebs cycle. We saw it in last class also that Krebs cycle takes place in the mitochondrial matrix. Whatever NADH2 are produced from uh, TCA cycle enters into electron transport chain through in the inner uh, mitochondrial membrane. So A matches with 3, B matches with 2, C matches with 1. So the answer should be B. So those who are given answer, anything other than B, I hope you are understanding, answer should be B. A, D, C are wrong. Next question. They are supposed to identify which among these are correct. Uh, fructose is sweetest sugar. Out of naturally occurring, of course, fructose is considered as sweetest sugar, as in carbohydrate. There are some other chemicals which are sweeter than fructose, but it is not. Some of them which are sweeter than fructose are not sugar. In a sense, they are not carbohydrates. There are some other chemicals which are sweeter than fructose, but non carbohydrates Glycine is the simplest amino acid. You may remember the structure of glycine. It just has an alpha carbon, hydrogen, amino group, 
carboxylic acid group and an hydrogen so the functional group of glycine functional group group of glycine is just an hydrogen it is a simplest amino acid so this is also correct this is also correct lactose is disaccharide composed of one molecule of glucose and galactose just now i told in the previous one of the match the following question lactose is a disaccharide which contains glucose as well as galactose whereas glucose plus glucose it is going to form maltose glucose plus fructose it will form sucrose so maltose early sucrose early lactose early all of them are the examples of disaccharides so lactose is also a disaccharide correct cellulose is unbranched chain of glucose molecule linked by beta 14 glycosidic bond that is also correct so answer should be d see if you look at starch starch contains two things one is amylose and the other one is amylopectin in case of amylose there is no branches in case of amylose there is no or there are no branches in case of amylopectin there will be lot of branches so it will be having only one type of bond in amylose that is alpha 14 glycosidic bond is the bond that is present in amylose in case of amylopectin also it contains alpha 14 glycosidic bond plus wherever branches are there it will be you will find alpha 16 glycosidic bond elleli branch iruttho allella alpha glycosidic bond so that is starch whereas glycogen glycogen contains only amylopectin amylose matu amylopectin eradu yavadalli irutte anta helidre starch nalli glycogen nalli bari it contains amylopectin which means it contains only branched branched polysaccharides gal irutte cellulose is unbranched but instead of having alpha 14 or alpha 16 glycosidic bond it will be having beta 14 glycosidic bond so the answer for this question should be d blood pressure is measured by idna middle school students gulu helthar igin kaladalli blood pressure is measured by an instrument called as what yaradlo middle school student gal kelidrunu idu cancer helthare so can you please give me the answer for this okay let us not spend too much of time on this those who have answered very good simple really complex really doubt irodilli until and unless you start answering it will be of no use so answer for this is is pneumonometer stethoscope as you know it is meant for uh, hearing sounds hearing sounds inside the body body olagade bodu baro bere bere sound ನಮಗೆ ಜನರಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೆಥೋಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೀ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಬೀಟ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ನೋಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೆಥೋಸ್ಕೋಪ್ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ವಿ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿನ್ ಟು ಇಯರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹೊಟ್ಟೆ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗೋ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಲಂಗ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗೋ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು so bronchia the lago sound is both so basically it is meant for hearing sound electrocardiogram as you know it is uh, going to measure the electric signal uh, which are developed from san and uh, avn sinoatrial node in the matha atrioventricular node in the uh, electric impulse in generate agutho adanna you measure madodu it is called as electrocardiogram whereas phonocardiogram is the instrument which is going to measure the sounds made by heart heart in the form of a sound and a measure madlike we are going to use this called as phonocardiogram 
ಹಾ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ಲೇಬೇಕು ನೀವ್ ಯಾರ ಒಂದ್ ಹತ್ತು ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಜನ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಆಗಿಂದ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ಲಿ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಬೇರೆಯವ್ರಿಗೂ ಇದನ್ನ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೇಳೇ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೇಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ very good it's nice to see so many people answering and most of the answer i can see it as a or as d okay see one thing is for sure the diagram in the one clear agi so sprashtavag namge artha agod enu ant helidre idu metaphase no doubt about it idu anaphase no doubt about it idu telophase no doubt about that also so definite agi d answer agi sadhya illa d cannot be correct answer but illi ne observe madbekagirodu please remember this idun yapka ittukolle beku nevu athwa artha maadkolle beku when there is mitosis taking place the all chromosomes adu homologous irli analogous irli sorry homologous irli heterologous chromosomes irli ಎಲ್ಲ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ದೇಲ್ ಬಿ ಅಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಸಾರಿ ದೇಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ ಅಲೈನ್ಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಒಂದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕ ಒಂದ್ ಈ ತರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ದರ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಇದು ಮೈಟಾಸಿಸ್ ಒಂದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕ ಒಂದಿದ್ರೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇದ್ ಓಮೋಲಾಗಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲೈನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಓಮೋಲಾಗಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಒಂದರ ಎದುರುಗಡೆ ಒಂದಿದ್ರೆ ವೈ ಡು ದೇ ಕಮ್ ಒನ್ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಟು ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಆಪನ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಒಂದ್ರ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಒಂದು ಬಂದು ಕುತ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಅದೇ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ನ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣಿಸೋದು ಇದು ಒಂದು ಕಾಮೋಸಮ್ ಒಂದು ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದು ನಿಂತಿದೆ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಡೈ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಅಂತ ಸೊ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ತರ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಈ ತರ ಅಲೈನ್ ಆಗೋದು ಯಾವಾಗ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಒಂದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕ ಒಂದು ಇರಿ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಟೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ತರ ಅಲೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ ಗಳು ಟೆಟ್ರಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೈವೇಲೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಬೈವೇಲೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾಣೋದು ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೆಟಾಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎರಡನೇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಟ್ಟು ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೋರ್ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಬಂತು ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಎರಡು ಬಂತು ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಯಾಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಅನಾಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೀಲೋ ಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಐಮ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ those who are given the wrong answer uh idu artha agide anta ankontini wrong answer kottirodu no no problem but ivaga i hope you are understanding why it is wrong answer next question ascent of sap is explained by ascent of sap ante helidre we are talking about ascent of sap means we are talking about translocation of we are talking about translocation of water and minerals
mass flow mass flow hypothesis any go that represents translocation of organic solvent organic solvent anna you can understand it as food in this case it will be sucrose so uh, definitely a will be not correct answer pulsation theory was disproved root pressure in the it can push the water for some extent but not when longer distance this cannot be correct answer answer should be cohesion tension and transpiration pull theory which is put forward to explain um is put forward to explain the long distance transport of uh, food so answer should be d okay there is a question sir please repeat shortly of once again the previous question see nimge ಒಂದು ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ನ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಕ್ರಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಓವರ್ ಆಗೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎರಡು ಓಮೋಲಾಗಸ್ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಒಂದರ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಒಂದು ಈ ತರ ನಿಂತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಒಂದ್ರ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಒಂದು ಈ ತರ ಬಂದಾಗೇನೆ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋ crossing over and what happens during crossing over is a part of this chromosome it will go over here other opposite in on the end of the other chromosome will leave birth there are exchange other genetic materials will exchange are other questions there are in the other other prophase nalli ago great so me with an a metaphase one null node there ಮೆಟಾಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಒಂದ್ರ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಒಂದು ಈ ತರ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅನಾಫೇಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇದೇ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇವಾಗ ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಶುರು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪಿಂಡಲ್ ಫೈಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಪುಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಈ ತರ ಸಪರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ಸ್ ಇದು ಅನಾಫೇಸ್ ಮೆಟಾಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇವಾಗ ಇದು ಒಂದ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇದೆ ಇದ್ ಸಾರಿ ಮೆಟಾಫೇಸ್ ಟೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಅಲೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಒಂದು ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಬಂದ್ರೆ ಇದ್ರ ಪಕ್ಕ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕ್ರೋಮೋಸೋಮ್ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಇದಿನ್ನೊಂದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಈ ಸೆಂಟ್ರೋಮಿಯರ್ ಏನಿದೆಯೋ ಸೆಂಟ್ರೋಮಿಯರ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರೋಮಿಯರ್ ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ Anaphase 1. Anaphase 1 will be centromere divided. That's why next, you can join the spindle fiber on the opposite side. You can join the spindle fiber on the opposite side. You can join the spindle fiber on the centromere will divide. Which means, centromere will divide. Centromere will divide. You can join the normal mitosis. ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಟೂ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಿಯೋಸಿಸ್ ಟೂ ನಲ್ಲೂ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೈಟೋಸಿಸ್ ನಲ್ಲೂ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಯಾರು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದನ್ನ ಅವರಿಗೆ ಇದು ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಂತೀವಿ ಸರ್ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿ If you go back to the question, here are the homologous chromosomes that are opposite. If you can carefully observe this, you can even see that chromosomes are shown. The diagram is crossing over. It is definitely mitosis, sorry, metaphase 1. Whoever has the question, I hope it is clear for them. Next question. again directly fact based question from your ncert this is locust which is an gregarious pest and the quote in the book nalli andre namma belegalanna haal madutte 
ಯು ನೋ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇದು ನಿಮ್ಗೇನ್ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಓದ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಇದನ್ನ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ಪಿಯನ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ನೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾನ್ಸರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಫೈನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಅನಿಕೇಶ್ anikesh uh, and i'm just taking a break for 5 minutes and then we'll continue after that uh, hello yes sir i'm just taking a break for 5 minutes we'll yeah sure sir, sure sure it's okay sir yeah anikesh uh, can i start again yes sir yes sir you can start sir fine 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आइडेंटिफाई द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ प्लासेंटेशन शोन बिलो एंड सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वी डिस्कस्ड सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी वॉट यू आर सींग इन फर्स्ट डायग्राम दट इज सीन इन केस ऑफ पी प्लांट and this is supposed to be its uh, placenta and the ovules which will later develop into seed are arranged in this margin and then this kind of placentation is called as marginal placentation seen in case of many members of fabiaceae family what you see in b is axial placentation and the examples please remember the examples in all of these cases this found in case of sunflower where the ovule it is attached to the base of the placenta and hence this is called as basal placentation uh i can still see the mixed options of c d b and all please think and answer and i i really appreciate the way in which you are giving the answer but just have some thinking behind giving the answer that's all just have small thinking that's all so c you can see that uh, placenta will be present in the center over here this is placenta and it will be present on the placenta i mean ovules are present on placenta and there will be septa also adda goda irutha ther adda goda idu madhyadalli placenta ಇದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಆಕ್ಸಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟೇಶನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೊಮ್ಯಾಟೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಬಟ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಸೆಪ್ಟ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಇದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಸೆಪ್ಟ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಸೆಂಟ್ರ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೆರೈಟಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸೆಂಟ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈಗ ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ If you cut papaya plant, papaya annanna kuidaga, adhru olagade you can see that seeds are arranged to the edge of it. It are edge ga attach agir. So this kind of placentation is called as parietal placentation. So the answer should be B. I hope those who are giving the answer as C and A, I hope you agree and understand that answer for this question should be B. Great. next read the given statements and select the correct option statement 1 it becomes difficult to open and shut the wooden door and windows during rainy season remember this is true only in case if the doors or windows are made up of wood aluminium in the atwa steel in the kabna din da madidre it do not holds good for that it becomes difficult to open and shut the window doors wooden doors and wooden uh, windows during rainy season the imbi water in rainy season and thus their volume is increased you know what do you mean by imbibition transport in water so transportation in plant and not chapter nalli odidira imbibition or imbibing is diffusion of water into solid or colloidal substance because of which they are going to swell ಊದ್ಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮಳೆಗಾಲದಲ್ಲಿ ವುಡನ್ ಡೋರ್ ಮತ್ತು ವುಡನ್ ವಿಂಡೋ ಏನು ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಯೂಶಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಪೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಒಂದು ಫಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ ಸೈಜಿಗೆ ಬಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ರೈನಿ ಸೀಸನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಿಶ್ಚರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮಿಡಿಟಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಂಬೈ ಮೋರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಸ್ವೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಂಬೈ ವಿಷನ್ as you can see il kottirudu physical phenomenon but in what way it is useful for biological phenomenon ante helidre in case of living sorry in case of plants you will be having something called as seed seed olagade embryo irutte ige suppose if it is an dicotyledon embryo like this uh, outside to this it will be having seed coat now you can compare seed coat here with that of wooden door or wooden window during germination what happens is it is going to absorb water it is going to break the seed coat because of imbibition adr volume jaasti agodrinda seed coat ododogutte seed coat ododrene a embryo 
germination ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗೋದು ಸೊ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಬೋತ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇದರಿಂದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ Assuming a thylakoid is somehow punctured, uh, so, so that the interior of thylakoid is no longer separated from stroma, this damage will have the most direct effect on which of the following process. Now, let us start with this. Um, you will see chloroplast, it will be having two membranes, this one double membrane structures. inside chloroplast you will see and flattened structures in fact that are the only green structures in the plant body id leaf ge green color kododu chloroplast chloroplast ge green color kododu yavudu ant helidre ee structures which are called as thylakoid if i enlarge one thylakoid like this this is the membrane of thylakoid you consider this ಡಬಲ್ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಒಂದೇ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ದಪ್ಪದಾಗಿ ಬರ್ದಿದೀನಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಮೆಂಬ್ರೇನ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಟೂ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅವ್ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೂ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಪಿ ಎಚ್ ಟೂ ನಿಕೋಟಿನಮೈಡ್ ಅಡಿನೈನ್ ಡೈನ್ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಯೋಟೈಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ಪೇಟಿಗೆ ಫೈನಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೋಟೋಲೈಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವೆರ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯೋನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಲಿಬ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ನಾವು ಮೀನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಈ ತರ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಸೈಟೋಕ್ರೋಮ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುವಾಗ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಒಳಗ್ ಪಂಪ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಯಾನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಲ್ಯೂಮನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥೈಲಕ್ವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ this proton gradient it is used up by one more enzyme called as adp synthetase or adp synthase to convert adp plus inorganic phosphate to adp now the question says assuming assuming a thylakoid is damaged there are yellow on the red thylakoid damage agide anta ankoda how they are going to do it let us not worry about it but assume that it has been damaged in some place what will be the consequence of it other indian agate so that the interior of thylakoid interior of thylakoid is no longer stroma separated from stroma that is exterior this damage will have most direct effect on which of the so splitting of water has got to do with the photosystem to which is present here ಅದಕ್ಕೂ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಗುದು ಯಾವ ಸಂಬಂಧನೂ ಅಷ್ಟೊಂದು ಫರಕ್ ಬೀಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕ್ಲೋರೋಫಿಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಮೆಮ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫೋಟೋ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಟೂ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅದು ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಯರ್ ಈ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರೇನೆ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ ಆಗೋದು ಇದೇನಾದ್ರೂ ಪಂಚರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದಾನೆ ಆಚೆ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಆಗ ಏನ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಚೀವ್ ಈ ಪ್ರೋಟಾನ್ ಗ್ರೇಡಿಯಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಚೀವ್ಡ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸ್ ಬೈ ಅನ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಸಿಂಥಟೈಸ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಕೆನಾಟ
select the option that correctly identifies the parse label A to E. So what you see in the first part is A that is pharynx. Answer should be either A or it should be C. Pharynx saad mele stomach ki gogo modulu. Before going to stomach, the food passes through a structure which is going to grind it. So it will be gizzard. So answer should be C. Then what you see is in the C labeled is stomach. Then there is D, which is cecum, which is going to produce some digestive enzymes, just like our liver or pancrea. And then there are lymph glands, which are present in E. So the answer should be C. See, again, you people are not uh, answering. Now, again, it's time for you people to give me answer for these three questions. Quick. With Allah, in direct NCRT book, I'm going, I'm going to wait for your answers. Still, very few people are trying to answer it. If you answer my prayatna padlila and tayadre, ide attitude and anim examic tone of tira, avaga gabrinelli, you know, and answer my bartira. Please try to give answers, practice these questions. Fine. Let us look into the answers. Human body temperature is maintained by hypothalamus. So the answer should be 30 at one. And hypothalamus, you might be knowing, it, it's also having neurosecretory cells, which are going to secrete some of the hormones, such as uh, uh, gonadotrophin release hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, somatotrophin, um, and then it produces ADH and oxytocin, which will be released from posterior pituitary lobe. Medulla oblongata is responsible for many involuntary response. Uh, pituitary gland is, as you know, it is master gland which produces and releases many hormones such as growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, uh, luteinizing hormone, prolactin, adenocorticotrophic hormone. Yellow hormone is produced by the pituitary gland. It will not directly regulate the body temperature. Cerebral cortex is the site for most of our voluntary actions. Memory, thinking, imagination, hearing, speaking. Cerebral cortex. So the answer for 30th question should be uh, hypothalamus. 31st. In which of the following part does vegetative propagation occur by adventitious birds? First, let us try to understand adventitious bud. Adventitious bud and yen other nartha matkona. It on the plant adre, at the growing tip of the plant, you will find what is called as apical bud. This is apical bud. And sorry, this is apical bud. And if there is a leaf like this, at the base of the leaf, you will find one more meristematic tissue, which is called as axillary bud. Now, what do you mean by adventitious bud? The buds which arises from any parts of the plant other than these two. If there are a bit to bear a jagad in the particular bandra, atwa meristematic tissues gara shuruagi, branches gara barli shuruagra. Avaga adana adventitious bud danta karite. What you see in A is rhizome, which is a type of stem modification found in case of ginger. I hope you agree with this. Rhizome is a stem modification which is found in case of ginger, turmeric, etc. Adrally, you can see the presence of axillary bud. 
axillary bud in the it grow agate or to adventitious bud in the agala. So, other in the answer A cannot be correct answer. What you see in B is bryophyllum. Bryophyllum nali you can see a leaf there. From the margins of leaf, you can see the formation of bud, which, which means it is neither forming from apical bud nor it is forming from axillary bud. Apical bud in the nu bartaila. Axillary bud in the new Bartala Agadre, that is where you see the advantageous bud. So the answer should be B. If you see C, C is an example of offset, which is found in case of acornia, pistia. Acornia is also called as terror of water ayan. If this is a parental plant, a branch of the parental brand, parental plant, it is going to grow in a form of tuft of leaf. Offset under so idu koda it is not an adventitious bud. So this cannot be correct answer. Answer should be B. Last 30 second question in this slide. Uh, select the incorrect pair of type of pollination and corresponding pollination agents. Anemophily happens with the help of wind. Example that you can remember from your book is. It is seen in case of maize, rice, coconut. All these are the examples of the plants which will undergo pollination through wind. It is correctly matched. Hydrophily, it is pollination that happens with water, correctly matched. Example, you know, Dirodo, Hydrella. Examples, it's important. Hydrella, Bellisneria, sea grass. Sea grass. Velisneria, all these are the examples of pollination that happens through water. Ornithophily, you know, the study of birds is called as ornithology. The flower gets pollinated by birds, it is called as ornithophily, correctly matched. Uh, insect in the pollination, you call it as entomophily. So, this is not correctly matched. Incorrectly matched, the answer should be D. Very good. I can see many of you giving the answer as C and A. Uh, this is not supposed to be a complication. That is quite easy question. The answer should be B. Thirteenth question. The thirty-third question. The term breed refers to. The term breed refers to group of animals not related by descent, but similar in most characters. You can simply call them as species, but you cannot call them as breed. For example, you say there are different breeds of dog, there are different breeds of sheep, uh, there are different breeds of uh, chicken, etc. All of them will be a group of animals which are related by descent. Andre, one day poor vajarit para. They will be having similar ancestors in a near ancestry. So, a group of animals related by descent and similar in most characters, then you call them as breed. So, answer should be B. A group of animals related by descent but have almost different characters. Different characters, either you cannot call it as breed also. You cannot call it as species also. So obviously irrelevant is C. A group of animals neither related or descent and having similar character. Again, absolutely out of sense. So the answer should be B for 33rd question. Next question. Answer.
see, I can see different options coming in. The monocotyledon seeds consist of large and shield shaped cotyledon. Uh, you have studied an example of maize seed line. Suppose if this is a maize seed, seed, the shield shaped structure that you find here, it is called as cotyledon. I'm highlighting is cotyledon, which is also called as scutellum. Uh, what I'm going to highlight in red color, it represents the endosperm. This represents the endosperm. Uh, endosperm, as you know, it will be triploid in nature, which is resulted because of uh, ripple fusion. And in endosperm, the outermost layer, what you find here, which is a proteinaceous layer, outermost proteinaceous layer, what you see here, it is alluron layer. This layer is alluron layer. So polyoptile and polyoriza, I hope you remember, uh, this is plumule. This is plumule and this is radical. The protective sheath that you find above cumulus coleoptile and protective sheets which are found above radical is called as coleoriza. So answer for this question anyway should be B. Yeah, it is almost in general knowledge questions. Question, this is from Environmental Issue Chapter. Amrita Devi Bhaishnav Wildlife Protection Award is for individuals or communities from the rural areas that have shown extraordinary courage in reducing environmental pollution, reducing global warming, protecting wildlife, reforestation in deforested area. Uh, you have studied this Vaishnai community in two different contexts. One is in 10th and the other one is in 12th. Wherein Vaishnai communities live in uh, Rajasthan and they live in very close harmony with the uh, environment around them. And, uh, you know, there is uh, a story which says, or an historically relevant one, not just an uh, imaginary story, Allah. Uh, Amrita Devi was a lady who belonged to Vaishnavi community, and the nearby king sent their workers to cut down the trees. And she, along with others, protested, and hundreds of people from Vaishnavi community was killed. So, to honor her, uh, government of India has kept an uh, wildlife protection award. So the answer should be C. Next one. Good. Those who have answered, it is correct. It is for production of wildlife. 36th question is from evolution, which is the correct order of increasing, increasing geographical or geological time scale for hypothetical vertebrate evolution. You should recall the graphical representation of uh, evolution of vertebrates, which is given in the evolution chapter. So, first vertebrates will evolve. It is first seen in case of pre Cambrian era. So, you can easily eliminate A and B because we are right now. Living in Cenozoic era. In a Virodu Cenozoic era, the Ivaga vertebrate evolution, Akthala, you cannot consider this. So, answer should be pre Cambrian C or D. Immediate Tagi Cenozoic Barala. Cenozoic should come on the last. So, in Giza, the answer is equal with the answer should be D. Pre Cambrian Mad Mel Burudu, Paleozoic era, uh, Adad Mel Burudu. Uh, Mesozoic, Mesozoic, Admele, Cenozoic. So answer should be D. Very good. Manasa G.
in a normal pregnant woman the amount of gonadotrophin activity was assessed the result accept, accepted was high level of fsh and lh in uterus to stimulate implantation of embryo high level of circulating hcg to stimulate endometrial thickening high level of fsh and lh in uterus to stimulate endometrial thickening high level of circulating hcg to stimulate estrogen and progesterone synthesis now uh, suppose if this is an ovary ovary olagade uh, you know after ovulation i'm repeating this after ovulation you will find a yellow colored body a yellow colored body illinda baruthe anod gottu nimge it comes from a structure called as graflin follicle on 14th day of menstrual cycle there will be an event called as lh surge lh surge agi idu rupture agi it is going to release the egg outside and the same structure is converted into an yellow colored body called as corpus luteum please concentrate and understand this corpus luteum will degenerate corpus luteum will degenerate if fertilization do not takes place atwa if yeah you can say implantation do not take place fertilization aad mele implantation aagbeku corpus luteum degenerates if implantation do not take place aagilla ant helidre degenerate aagogutte adu degenerate aagutte ant helidre i hope you can understand ಯುಟರಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇರೋ ಎಂಡೋಮಿಟ್ರಿಯಂ ಕೂಡ ಡಿಜನರೇಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸಪೋಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುಟರಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೆಲೋಪಿಯನ್ ಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ದಿಸ್ ಅನ್ ಸರ್ವೈಕಲ್ ಕೆನಾಲ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ರಿಸ್ ಅನ್ ಮೆಜೈನಾ ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ವೆಸಲ್ ಇಂದ ಮಾಡಲ್ಪಟ್ಟಿರೋ ಎಂಡೋಮೆಟ್ರಿಯಂ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಎಂಡೋಮೆಟ್ರಿಯಂ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಶನ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇದು ರಪ್ಚರ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರಪ್ಚರ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಫ್ಲೋ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿಸ್ಟ್ರಲ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಆದರೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದೋಸು ನೋ ವೆರಿ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ what is required is endometrium is required endometrium beku endometrium beku anta helidre endometrium anna maintain maduva progesterone beku progesterone produce agod ellinda anta helidre corpus luteum inda so corpus luteum idre progesterone irutte progesterone bandre endometrium irutte endometrium idre implantation successful agirutte so successful pregnancy agirutte so implantation of the takshana let us say this uh, this represents implantation ilinda one hormone produce agutte human placental sorry human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone so what it does is it is going to act on ovaries and it prevents prevents the degeneration So, ಇದು ಡಿಜನರೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆನ್ಶನ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಇದ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಂಡೋಮೆಂಟ್ರಿಯ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಸಕ್ಸಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಲೀಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೆಗ್ನೆನ್ಸಿ ಸೊ ದೆನ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಐ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಕಾರಿಯಾನಿಕ್ ಕೊನಾಡೋಟ್ರೋಫಿನ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಸ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಸ್ಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಸಿಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ So the answer should be D. I hope it is clear. The answer should be D. Try to answer the next one. Again, all are related to your chapter. Try to answer this.
good i can see almost consistent and uniform answers very very good everybody has given the correct answer wonderful so antitrypsin is one of the protein which is produced uh, through genetic engineering you may remember this is mentioned in uh, application of biotechnology in animals where in antitrypsin it is a drug which is used to cure emphysema and emphysema as you know it is a disease related to lungs where the the, um, the squamous epithelium which are present in the alveoli gets damaged transposons are mobile genetic elements which are also sometimes called as jumping genes they keep changing the position from one place to another place and you may remember this is being mentioned to you in the concept of uh, pest resistant plant wherein for rna i technology or rna interference technology the uh, dna which produces an antisense rna it is obtained from either transposons or those virus which obtain which reproduces by uh, retroviral mechanism elisa is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay it is an one of the preliminary tests which is done to detect aids retroviral vector it is used for gene therapy you know gene therapy it is successfully first used for a disease for curing a disease called as skid that is severe combined immunodeficiency disease which is caused due to a deficiency of a gene called as ada gene you know ada stands for adenosine deaminase genes uh, so the answer should be a is 3 b is 4 so the answer should be b very good next one can i can i expect a similar kind of response this time also this time it is c b c a again a c a okay um uh, now let us look into this you know the diameter of dna it will be 2 nanometer or you can understand it as 20 angstrom so which means c should be either 2 nanometer or it should be 20 angstrom b will be wrong d will be wrong this is considered as one helical pitch wherein dna turns for 360 degrees once one seri dna 360 degrees tirigidre adanna one helical pitch anta karitare one helical pitch na distance estirutte anta helidre distance of each helical pitch it will be either 3.4 nanometer or you can call it as 34 and strong so a should be 3.4 nanometer but as here they are given it as 3.4 and strong it cannot be 3.4 and strong it should be 34 and strong so answer should be a on the helical pitch olagade at base space galirutte so on the helical pitch distance if it is uh, 3.4 nanometer on the helical pitch nalli 10 base pairs idre that will give you the distance between two base pairs which will be 0.34 nanometer or you can call it as 3.4 angstrom so answer for this it should be a fortieth question what kind of pyramid is represented by the given figure it's a pyramid of number in forest ecosystem see common sense ne vadu nodre gottagutte it cannot be pyramid of number maybe it is a forest ecosystem no doubt about it 
ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಏನಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋದು ಎರಡರಿಂದ ಮೂರು ಮರ ಬಟ್ ಮೇಲಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯು ನೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳೇ ಕೆಳಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದೆ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇದೆ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದು ನಂಬರ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಕಸ್ಮಾತ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅವಾಗ ಇದು ಈ ತರ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಈ ತರ ಬಂದು ಇದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಆಸ್ ಪರ್ ದ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಈ ತರ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಚೈನ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಚೈನ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಪನ್ ಈ ತರ ಆಗ್ಬಹುದು ಉಲ್ಟ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಸುಲ್ಬುಕ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಟ್ರೀ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿನಿ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಿನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಐಪರ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟ್ಸ್ ಈಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಸೆಟಿಕ್ ಫುಡ್ ಚೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಕೂಡ ತಪ್ಪಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಡ್ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಈ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದರ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಟ್ರೀಗಳ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡರಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ನೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಂಗೆ ಸರ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಫೆಂಟ್ ಅಷ್ಟು ದೊಡ್ಡದಿಲ್ಲ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೇ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಒನ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕಂಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಟ್ರೋಫಿಕ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೋಫಿಕ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಅನಿಮಲ್ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪಿರಮಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಯೋಮಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕೋಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಡಿ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆಗಿ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ವೀರೇಶ್ ಅವರು ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ಸೆಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಚ್ಯೂರ್ ಇಂಬ್ರಿಯೋಸಾಕ್ ಎಗ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಚುಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಚಲಾಸ್ ಅಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಿಯೋಸಾಕ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸಿಲಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಸಿಲಸ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಂಟಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ place where integuments are absent illi integument absent agirutto adanna micropyle anta karithira adra opposite structure ana it is called as chalaza anta karithira uh inside this you will find different type of cell one important cell is egg this is egg and you will find two synergies around them three antipodals and two nucleus here nucleus nella just for your clarity let us put it in red color this is the nucleus so egg apparatus is situated towards chalazal end this is egg apparatus including the fully formed apparatus this present towards micropylar end this is not correct antipodal cells are situated towards micropylar end these are antipodal cells this is an antipodal cells and they are present towards chalazal end not towards the micropylar end not correct the typical angiosperm embryo sac has seven cell you can name them number them 1 2 3 4 5 5 6 and seven cells and eight nucleus
second one is from uh, what is called as human health and disease chapter allergies hypersensitivity reaction allergies hypersensitivity reaction which is caused due to release of histamines and serotonin and during allergy one of the antibody increases is ige immunoglobulin e just the other allergy the other helper t cells helps in activation of b cells so that b cells gets differentiated into two types of cells one is called as plasma cell and the other one is called as memory b cells one is plasma cell and the other one is uh, memory b cells where in plasma cells will start producing antibodies immediately if there are differentiate agbe konte helidre what is required is the chemicals called as cytokines which are produced by t helper cells i also you remember i also hope you remember that t helper cell population tumba kadame agutte yarige aids bandiruttu aids it is caused by hiv virus and hiv virus specifically targets helper t cells ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅದು ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಪರ್ ಟಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ಅದರಿಂದ ಆಕ್ಟಿವೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಅದರಿಂದ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಮಾ ಸೆಲ್ ಬರಲ್ಲ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನೋ ಡಿಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಐ ಡಿ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನೋ ಡಿಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ವೈರಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಯು ಮೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಟ್ರೋ ವೈರಸ್ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಾರ್ retro virus wherein its single stranded rna will be converted into dna using an enzyme called as reverse transcriptase so x ray it is uh, one of the uh, carcinogenic agent at the same time it is one of the diagnostic methods treatment of cancer it is by immunotherapy or there are other ways of treatment of cancer if you can recall surgical immunotherapy radiation therapy chemotherapy all these other different methods for treatment of cancer so a matches with 4 b matches with 1 so the answer should be a 44th question is about uh, transfer section of an young anther i am repeating this is a transfer section of young anther it is mature anther alla gnapka ittkondiri idu young anther very good i can see the responses uh, okay Mon- many of you are answering it as c good uh, so this is of young anther and innon sari stress maad ittidini idu mature anther alla mature anther nal adre you will find it like this we find that in case of mature anthers the embryo sac will split open desiccation ad mele illi maddidalli tara idre illi ondu embryo sac illi ondu embryo sac idre ee embryo sac galu split aagi they will be releasing the pollen grains outside pollen grains it will be released outside or microspores are released outside in a mature anther mature anther go mature anther go young anther go main difference here the gap cut for the key difference between those two are in case of young anther you will find the sporogenous tissues young anther only in young anther you will see sporogenous tissue as well you as well as you will see the tepitum present whereas in case of mature anther both of them are not present so answer for this one it should be a represents uh, epithelium sorry endothelium a represents endothelium uh b represents middle layer c represents tepitum remember tepitum will be having dense nucleus and more than one new sorry dense cytoplasm and more than one nucleus here that adr olagade kanodella it is called as sporogenous tissue which will get converted into microspores good 
So with this, I'll wind up the class. If you have any doubts, please let me know quickly. Otherwise, uh, Anikesh will continue further. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Uh, sir, I request you also to stay in the session as we have a concluding session. Yes, Pavan, yes. sir. Professor Pavan, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, please, please stay uh, on this uh, this one, you know, uh, meeting session also. So okay. that uh, new and self guide Madhu do makkal again ta. David, to, I request you to kindly uh, for that be in the meeting, please. Sure, uh, sir. Sure. No issues sure. if you can take about ten minutes break and come back. Two hours part aagi there. So I think you can take ten minutes break and okay. come back. That will be very so great. You can give a quick break to everybody. I will stay, sir. As long as sir, I mean, I have class. Ah. Sir, it's for one hour, sir. It's only for one hour. Yes, sir. So we have the okay, concluding sir. session after this. Yeah. And I would request all the students, along with their parents, to stay back. There's some wonderful session that has been planned on behalf of uh, some of our premium trainers who has been a part of Asmat Guru, as well as we also have the opportunity of listening to the vice chancellor today. And there is some very good. Uh, tips that are going to be, you know, be shared as a part of this activity to all the students and their parents. It's not only about the CET examinations in Karnataka, but it is also about what to do after that. And hence, I request all the students and their parents, as well as all their friends who must have registered, please contact them in the next ten minutes and ask them to be online. And we will start our sessions in the exactly in the next ten minutes. We look forward to all of you being on. You can take a quick break and be on this session. Anikesh, over to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, you want to play some video in the meantime, or do you want to put up the screen? Uh, yes, sir. I'll just put up the screen, sir. Yeah, you can put up the screen yeah, if you yeah. want about the concluding session. Mm, yes, sir. Yes, this this can be put up. And we will join you in in exactly in the next two three minutes. Okay, sir. Sure, sir. Manoj, just check with Ali if he has shared the link with the vice chancellor, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir.
Dayanand Sagar University. Live the dream. In any case, just a quick check. We have Professor Ravi Shankar and Professor Srinath also who have joined in. Anikesh? Uh, Ravi Shankar is yet to join. He will yes, join. Sir. He's in between a class, so I think probably in another five minutes he will join, sir. Are we good to go, Anikesh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are good to go, sir. We are good to go? Yes, sir. Professor Ravi Shankar will join us. Uh, sir has not yet joined. Sir, uh, uh, actually, sir is like in some, uh, he's traveling, I guess. So, sir told like uh, he'll be joining from his phone. So, there will be some network issue, I guess. So, I'll just uh, call him once. I'll ask, uh, sir, what is the problem he's facing? Yeah, please. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm 
You can put the earlier screen also, Anish. Anikesh, another two minutes to start. Another two minutes, we are online. Sir, I, have, I tried calling. Uh, no issues, no issues, no issues. But sir, another two minutes, we are going to be online. After yes, which, sir. I will yes, start sir. the session. Okay, sir. We have the Honorable Vice Chancellor also on the call with us. Yeah, sir. Uh, very good morning. Very good afternoon, sir. Very good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, Professor Srinath, you post, post my. Uh, introduction with everybody then we will invite you for your comments after which we can have the other faculties from your side invited yeah and then we will have the concluding session given by the honorable vice chancellor of jain and sagar university yes sir yes good to go another one minute to go live Okay, we are good to go. Anikesh, we are good to go and we are going to go live right now. Anikesh, able to hear me? Yes, sir. I'm able to hear yeah. you, sir. We are going live. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. A very good afternoon to all of you, especially the students and their parents who have been patiently in the last 20, 25 days been a part of the success story of Larnodaya Session 2 organized by Dayanand Sagar University under the School Development Initiative Program. We are here today for the wrap-up session of Larnodaya Session 2, which has been the free CET coaching program, which was started on 20th of May. Dayanand Sagar University has successfully completed the three weeks of high-quality online sessions for the students under the Larnodaya program, which was based on concept building and meticulously revising the weightage topics from an examination point of view rather than focusing on the entire syllabus. We are overwhelmed by the response and feedback of students who have participated and completed their 21 days of learning journey 
under the Larnodaya session two. More than thousand plus students have registered and attended the entire twenty one days of high quality sessions of physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology subjects, which were based on the new teaching methodologies from recognized subject matter experts who genuinely assisted the students in conceptualizing the themes and honing their abilities required to ace the exams which are upcoming uh, examinations like cet or maybe the neat uh, the je exams or the comet k exams and any other centralized examinations that the aspiring students are going to participate at the end of the quality sessions which happened today at 12:30 pm we have this wrap up session and we welcome all the students and parents who have attended this program and to join us for a very special briefing by our partners asmat guru the you know the senior faculties from asmat guru which is headed by professor srina chakravarti who is the founding chairman and the managing director of asmat guru and some of the key faculties who were a part of this program including professor dr ravi shankar who is the ceo and the director of academics at asmat guru we also will be having a concluding session by the honorable vice chancellor of dayanand sagar university dr k n b murthy sir the competent faculties of asmat guru will also be concluding their remarks to the students which will be beneficial for them from an examination point of view which is going to happen in the coming week apart from this i also would like to take the opportunity of informing all the students and parents on today's session about the mock test which has been organized by dayanand sagar university which is going to be tomorrow and day after tomorrow we have organized two series mock test and the mock test are a sure fire way to crack the competitive exams and keeping this in mind we are also organizing these two tests on the last two days that is tomorrow and the day after tomorrow which will be based on the recent examination trends to facilitate students to self evaluate the status of their exam preparation this will further boost their you know their entire confidence to perform better in the main exam this examination is available tomorrow and day after tomorrow the schedule of the examination has already been emailed to all the students on their registered email id and i would want all the students to take part for this mock test which is going to build up your confidence based on the entire journey of this last 21 days these question papers are prepared very intelligently so that all the students can go through this and build up their confidence and look forward to something very good happening to you when the actual uh, examinations be it the je or be it the cet exams we would wish that all the students do extremely well and they get the university of their choice i would now like to request professor srina chakravarti to please come over and to please share your views and give this extra tip to the students on behalf of the larnodaya session over to you sir thank you very much sanjay sir good afternoon everybody and uh, my special thanks to dhanan sagar university for having identified us to partner for this program and we are really happy and thankful to have have given an opportunity uh, to deliver this a program in a befitting way and uh, of course my thanks to honorable vice chancellor sir dr k n b murthy who has guided us from the beginning like we have had several discussions with him how to uh, take this program forward i am sure that we have met all his expectations thank you very much sir once again and uh, we have had several uh, rounds of discussions with the team 
led by Shinde sir, and of course all the coordinators, Manoj sir and uh, Ali sir, and everybody at DSU. That's one thing. And uh, with all this, this program would not have been successful with the participation of the uh, so many students, in fact. And uh, of course, my entire team of at Asmat Guru and our coordinator, Anikesh, also. Well, uh, this being the, uh, the wrap up session, I just wanted to give some uh, useful tips for all the students, okay, how to crack this uh, CET. I just wanted to have a few points discussed with you. Just I will do some screen sharing with you, please. I will not take more than seven to eight minutes because my senior colleague, uh, Dr. Ravi Shankar, also will talk to you and guide you and other colleagues also. Yeah, there's something very, very important. How to crack the CET? Some of the important points that I have listed. First, you have to understand the examination pa pattern and a study from good study material, very essential. Learn more shortcuts and tricks. That's very important. Make your study plan. Devote time for every section daily. Identify your strengths make your strategy and most importantly the last one being this practice this box now the understanding of the paper i think which i have already uh, spoken to you in the orientation program the first day once again but still i would like to repeat because there may be so many participants probably who joined late for this program and would have missed out the orientation program for the benefit of those students I just repeat just we want to firm up things so the first thing is the understanding of this uh, examination paper pattern this KCET consists of 60 MCQs 40 questions from second PUC 15 questions from first PUC and the five questions, which will be a mix of the first PUC and second PUC concepts. When I said multiple choice questions, it will have four options. Only one of them will be correct. Unlike some competitive examinations where more than one option may be chosen as answer. And there is no negative marking. Okay. You get one mark for every right answer. And of course, zero for every wrong answer. There is no negative marking. So this is the um, pattern of the question paper. You will be given only a question paper along with that. And OMR will be given for bubbling your answers. So students must be very, very careful. You need not have to get tensed. Please, uh, order that mark your answers properly in the right way that is given, given to you in the brochure or the instructions given to you by the Karnataka Examination Authority. So that is very, very important. You should note the time also. 70 minutes is being given for every paper. There will be four papers, physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology. If you, are, if you want to try only for the engineering stream, you can just write PCM. And of course, that PCMB, that PCE, PCB will, what that hold for some courses like veterinary and etc. So many allied courses, which Dr. Ravi Shankar in the later part, he will brief you about it. So this is something very important about the examination pattern. 
and one more thing is you will not be given any additional sheet or working sheet or anything like that for you so therefore all the margins and wherever that you want you need to just work on the same thing okay this is something about the understanding the examination pattern well study from good material i think these things also should have to uh, which should have been told to you an year back so now it is late for me to comment much about this you have already studied from good study material that is our material consisted of very good questions you know the time complexity etc taken into account some tricky questions some lengthy questions concepts and everything how you have to use your concepts some skill all these things you were trained during the program the next is learn more shortcuts tricks for all sessions so i think you have been taught about especially in mathematics the lopital rule some of the tricks you know where you can get the answers in a quick way by maybe some integration problems by using some bernoulli rule i am sure that even in physics chemistry and biology you would have learned all the shortcuts from our faculties who are experts in doing all that the next is make your study plan this also make your study plan in the sense you have only about few days with you just you can take out all your material whatever has been given to you have a quick revision go through some of the points you may not have the complete order that you know you may not have time to completely work out the problem etc in a very classical way which may not be important and uh, some of the problems which you have learnt in a very long way probably your memory also will help you you know something like some question no this is the right answer so in case if you get such type of questions i think you will be the most happiest person so make your study plan okay a lot how many hours for each subject and start preparing and you please have to just work on your strengths and uh, weaknesses okay uh, this is devote time for every section daily i think probably would have done this throughout this program now we have hardly 2 3 days of time so you have to only uh, write lot of mock tests that's very very important and identify your strengths and weaknesses which particular topic you are strong organic chemistry or maybe something like in physics optics or something like that you identify your strengths and weaknesses uh why what in what way does it help you probably you will feel very much better when you find such type of questions in the question paper of your favorite topics so kindly attend those questions which are your favorite and which you can do it fast that's very very important and please what are that uh, reserve your time for the what are that the big problems or time what are that which takes more time such type of problems you please take it up little later that's one thing try to answer those questions first which you know best okay and very quickly that should be your strategy also for that make your own strategy i do not want to say anything about that but you have to make your own strategy that is left to every individual right shinde sir was talking about the mock tests the mock tests will increase your confidence and this mock test you know when you are writing the papers that is the the grand test paper whatever we call it as the full syllabus paper you will know how much time how many questions in each chapter when I mean, which section takes more time probably the three dimensional geometry i am talking about from the mathematics point of view because i am a mathematics teacher so you students must be knowing oh, okay this particular topic even though the concept is not very big 
still it will take more time to answer those questions so like that uh, you will get some confidence okay what type of questions and uh, i particularly uh, i will suggest that you should go through the previous year question papers not that the same questions will appear again it it is it's a history in fact uh, the questions have not uh, been repeated in the cet for the last uh, 25 or 30 years or even more than that there has not been a repetition of the question but however the concept remains same slightly change you will get an idea what type of questions how tricky it will be how to attack the questions so you will you will get that survey will help you what type of questions that you need to look at from the material so you might take a material you know consisting of about a say around 1000 problems also in a textbook okay but all that 1000 problems you need not have to solve you have to be very very selective in fact you have to be very selective and you please do look at those problems which has you know which is going to test your concepts such type of questions will be normally there uh, in your cet and uh, we have taken all efforts to address those type of problems and clearly uh, explain you will be very close to the answer but a small plus or minus uh, will you know change the answer so why is that for example somewhere your cos theta should be equal to uh, okay they would have given 1 by root 10 minus 1 by root 10 but you should know why cos theta why i should take minus 1 by root 10 and not 1 by root 10 okay probably you know i have to decide in which quadrant that theta is etc all those things so these type of things so that means sometimes most of the time in cet the answers will be very very close it will be slightly deceiving but still you have to be very very careful unless you are very very strong in the concepts you will not be able to answer those questions so therefore uh, you should practice take up lot of mock tests okay then again uh, you can uh, i mean it will definitely increase your boost your uh, confidence so i hope the students have enjoyed all our classes even though it's a very short span of about uh, 20 or 21 days uh, i think we have covered almost all the uh, topics maybe some of the students would have felt that it is a touch and go but in fact it was not a touch and go because we have carefully selected the problems what type of problems will appear for cet only that type of problems has been taken so i think lot of efforts has been uh, for that taken by our faculties at asmat guru and very good uh, support from the dsu coordinators and all the advice given by our honorable vice chancellor uh, we have implemented all those things so do uh, feel very free to send up send the mail or whatever you have in the next few days you have any doubts we will try to answer all those things okay so i once again thank dhanand sagar university for giving us an opportunity to deliver this program thank you very much over to shilde sir once again sir sir thank you so much uh anikesh could you check if uh, professor ravi shankar is there on the call uh yeah yes, i, I, yes, I sir, yes sir he is there sir so i i would like to invite professor dr ravi shankar ji and uh, over to you where you could give your portion of the guidance to the students it's it's been a wonderful 21 days of you know learning activities to touch upon meticulously in the way we have designed the portion for lerno daya to over to you sir for your expert comments and the guidance to the students thank you very much 
welcome to all of us for our concluding sessions of this particular naradiya 2 program okay which has been a very interactive and we had a lot of queries from the students regarding different aspects of the subject and we are able to answer most of their questions also and able to give them a lot of suggestions and re materials required for them also but at the end moment we thought we will have a, a small a kind of a, a workshop for the students to give them an insight into this uh, kct exam how to take it up and how to uh, answer all those questions in 60 minutes okay i will try to uh, cover uh, all the aspect in a in a in the way of a bird view because in a few 15 minutes i cannot give you everything but i can give you bird view of the how to get a, a good marks in this uh, particular 60 minutes in every subject okay and uh, how to get a maximum marks so i think you can put your video off because there is some bandwidth issue so when i come to my subject chemistry प्लीज रिमेम्बर मोस्ट ऑफ दब्जेक्ट एज ए रिवॉल्व अराउंड ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड बिकॉज सेवेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ दी सेवेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ दोर्शन इज फ्रॉम Only around thirty percent is from first view. Only around thirty percent is first view. So, in our pro Professor Ravi Shankar, can I interrupt? Professor Ravi Shankar ji, can I interrupt? Clear sir, no. Yeah, his voice is breaking. Thirty percent, no. Professor Ravi Shankar ji, uh, you can put off your video so that we can get a better bandwidth. The voice is breaking. or maybe you could send your ppt to us we can show it from our side uh, sir actually ravi shankar sir got disconnected sir due to poor network connection got it just just let let's wait for a couple of seconds in case if we could again get him can somebody in the meantime call him yes sir i I'll, i'll do it sure. if this is something very very useful for the students to understand you know when the professors today are going to share their a uh, thought process they have been observing this for the last 30 years they have been seeing the various entrance examinations that has been coming they have been teaching students for the last 30 years they are preparing students for the last 30 years to write so many of the batches must have come and gone the kind of expert advice that comes through such sessions are basically an eye opener for many of them because if you look at the students today there is fear there is lot of fear in the minds of students one there is pressure from the parents two there is pressure from the peers they have to do good they have to get a college of their choice so such sessions today really builds up the confidence i can see professor ravi shankar back in action over to you sir yeah sir thank you is it audible sir oh very much very clear uh, right so please pardon me for the disruption okay as i told the students most of the questions are from this particular second quiz portions only so we designed our workshop in such a way that we cover all these portions we have covered all the second quiz portion 100% and also not only that we made sure that we are not leaving this first quiz also we made sure that we add a first quiz revision in every subject so that we covered both this aspect and we can say even in though in only 21 days what is available with us we are able to cover 100% of the particular portions uh, in all the subject we made sure that we covered 75% of this first second pu as well as first pu portion we have done revision okay and coming to the chemistry in chemistry i already told you in my last class also okay i told you about what are the important chapters make sure that what are the important chapters you are having and make sure that you revise it very clearly i already told you so look at this percentage every year these are the chapters which are having a around 3 to 4 questions appearing frequently from the examination 
as she not told you may not get the exact question but the concept will remain same make sure that you are covering this particular chapters wherever this particular three questions are appearing or four questions are appearing make sure that you complete that chapter first give a priority make sure that you practice many questions in this particular chapters and there are some chapter which are related to each other for example if you take a dnd of block and coordination form you are having around 6 to 7 question appear only in this chapters and both the chapters almost similar if you study deep block no need to study coordination if you study coordination no need to study deep block because most of the topics are overlapping make sure that you study those chapter first don't leave those chapter where you are having a more questions where are any more questions and also second pc also don't leave it if you come to uh, first pc maybe we are having only 15 questions but this also i have tell you not to leave it most of the questions revolves around the main topics if you look at here look at here three questions are appearing in chemical part almost around so many questions are appearing in these two chapters organic chemistry and hydrocarbon and some of the questions are appearing frequently from thermodynamics and equilibrium make sure that these are the chapters you are giving a priority and covering at first and when you have a time you have to cover others also it's not that i am asking you to leave some topics what i am telling is that give a priority and cover as much as possible on a priority basis on a priority basis and also as she not told no your syllabus my dear student in this case ct 2022 in this case ct 2022 please remember in the first pc all the portion is not there there is something called as deleted portion this portion there will not be any question from this portions in case ct 2022 so unnecessary don't study it because here time is very precious you do we don't have many days we have only few days so don't waste your time studying all these things because no questions will come from this particular deleted portions and the deleted portions are available in a, a karnataka ct website also or we will also update it if you want you can go through it please don't study anything from this portion because you can save the time to study other things then so what are the chapters where we get more questions say if you come to uh, 11th standard i told you know chemical bonding equilibrium hydrocarbon and goc and classification of s yes block please don't leave it there are around two to three questions appearing frequently in exam coming to 12 there are some chapter where we get around two to three chapters very frequent study on those on that on a priority basis don't leave it then sir how to crack this particular questions in a small limited time 60 questions means you'll get only 60 minutes that means per question you will may get only one minute for one question you may end up getting only one minute you may get 60 second then how to solve answer it very quickly when you go to the question paper first thing what you have to do is that don't worry about very difficult questions whatever you know the simple and the easy question start answering it. for example in second pc if you take very easy question direct question come from sir the chapter polymers we get direct questions we get call it as memory based questions sir then chemistry never the life we get memory based questions in a surface chemistry many of them are memory based questions in metallurgy isolation of element many of them are direct questions then biomolecules many of them are direct questions look almost around five chapters in all these five chapters you may get around almost two to three questions that means just in this five chapter you may get around 10 to 50 questions all of a sudden in a matter of second you can answer all these questions so when you get a question paper the first task is that complete this one you come to the simple and easy questions then you go for the difficult ones then in my classes also i told you about odd man out because in every question there will be a four options will be there you know in the four options any two options will be unrelated answers usually 
we call it as odd man out not related those things first you remove it you remove it then you have only two options b and d and very much choice that 50% of it may be right and if you just ponder over it a little bit you will get a right answer and also what will happen is there sometime you know the subject but in that anxiety okay in that particular stress and tension what you do is that we make a small mistakes what is that there are some question which says which of the following is not true this not we don't observe it usually because we want to read it very fast we say oh we will just concentrate on this word true please please keep it in mind there are so many things they say not true or sometimes it will be incorrect and always we want to read it read it as correct no it is incorrect so all this simple mistake avoid it then sometimes you may get answer just by do reverse solving sometimes they what they do is that they may be asking about product or they may be asking about reactant gives a a gives to b b gives to c like this then sometimes just understanding what is this c and what may be the product b no need to solve r and a i don't know you have the knowledge about r and a no need to solve it just by solving this step b and c we will get answer just by going back reverse solving you can get answer sometimes no need to solve all the steps just by solving one or two steps you may get off solving because in a multiple concept questions you may be having many steps a b you may give c you may ask you what is d and don't get uh, annoyed by those multi steps sometimes just solving one step b and c you will get answer sometimes just by answering a and b you may get answer we call it as a off solving but make sure that you are writing all those questions at the end of the question paper no there is a something for space rough space there is what are the questions they are given usually statement like questions please write it down and just understand any one step you may get the answer and in that particular question you may be having many uh, four option like a b c d and in this a b c d say answer may be around 2 you will say around 2.5 and then you will say 10 then maybe say 3 some of the values are extreme values you can easily make out this is a unrelated one and avoid those extreme values and one more important point very very important what is that the last one and there are some question you give option saying that if there is a all or above or none of this in the four option you will give a b c and d says all the above is right all the above is right you will put it like that or all the above is true sometimes what we will do now when we are going very fast we see a statement oh a is a true statement we say a is the answer because we are not Gone through B, we are not gone through C, we are not gone through D. Sometimes we see B is the right one. We say what B is the answer. No, in fact, A is also answer, B is also answer, C is also answer. Then the right option is D. Make sure that you are looking into all these things. Okay, and by doing all these things, what I think is that you can save lot of time. Even in one question, if you are able to save thirty seconds at the end, we get lot of time. i will tell you why we need some time at the end also and and in our chemistry um, dr rajesh and myself uh, ravi shankar and basav kiran we have covered all the portion as a total both second pc chemistry as well as first pc revision of chemistry and also not only that we are in a discussion on mock paper on chemistry where basav kiran has given a very good idea about uh, what are the different aspects of mock paper and how to answer it both addition basav kiran have done it wonderful job in giving you an insight into this uh, how to prepare for chemistry in kct and when it came to biology we had dr abhishek we had mr pavan nag we had mr shukumar and kavya ma'am 
who has given you a very good idea about uh, how to crack this particular bio questions in case ct okay and uh, coming to this last one last minute tip for this particular case ct 2022 okay now just i told you how to crack the questions in a limited time so what is the last minute preparation you now you don't have time you have only 3 days now don't go and study all new things just revise all the important formula in your chemistry physics or maths or biology make a note of it make note of all the formulas at one place at one place i'm telling very important maybe in a one book or maybe in a one sheet you should have all the things not mixed up a chemistry should be separate in a one sheet physics should be separate maths should be separate biology should be separate not in a one sheet don't write everything everything should be separate compartmentalized i need all the formulas because i need it to revise revise it again and again till you get a hang of it and don't leave this exam problems as i told you in ncert exam problem is very important in our discussion we have included many problem but you also make sure that you would solve all the ncert exam problems they may not come exact question may not come exact values may not come but the concept are repeating concepts are repeating and practice a lot okay i as i told you know take lot of mock exam and practice it. now we are conducting mock exam on 11th and 12th don't miss it don't miss our mock examination make sure that you attend it it will give you a very good insight in how to prepare for this kcet and when you go to this exam don't have a fear oh i have not studied this much i have not studied that chapter oh i left that one oh i left this one oh, what if that question comes don't have anything in your mind just whatever you have prepared you go with that positive mindset okay i studied this much now i am very comfortable in what i have studied and go to the examination and you will be having a four answers already what you have to do is that just ponder over it and you have to select a, a right one that's it not to worry about what you have not studied worry about what you have studied and on that note you go to the examination as i told you before study on a priority basis what is priority not the second pc portion second first pu portion second pu portion is a first priority finish all the second pu portion when that is over then take a first pu seat don't opposite first you have to complete all the second pu portion then go to first pu seat study on priority basis and again in second pu seat also as i told you know there are some chapter where you get three to four portion first you complete it then take a other chapters and very important do not study new topic now we don't have a time to all these things say if you are not able to understand some concept not worry about it now you worry about the concept you already know you remember the concept what you are and on that concept try to solve four questions on every concept sir i am able to solve 10 question very good go by concept basis on every concept on every topic you solve question you solve question or on 10 questions practice it on every sub topic on every sub topic solve 10 questions now it is the time to solve the questions and practice it now you don't have a time to study new chapter and go for it because priority is very very important priority is to study what you know it already and my dear student at last 5 minutes okay don't worry about the questions what you don't know just go through it whatever the little knowledge you are having try to answer all question don't leave any questions because in case it we don't have negative evaluation we don't have a negative evaluation so answer all the question answer all the question whatever you know try to use that knowledge and answer the question but don't leave not even a single question unanswered remember this one all question should be solved all question you should give answer and the last 5 minutes that will be your priority that will be your priority you should give answer to all the question make sure that because there is no variation no need to worry you are not losing anything and then last my dear mock exam please take as many mock exam as possible we are conducting a mock exam on 11th 
and 12 then tomorrow and day after tomorrow please try to take up that examination we have done these particular preparations only according to the kct pattern and try to solve these things you will get a very good idea about what kct is going to be then uh, this is our examinations on 11th and 12th what we are conducting please register yourself make sure that you are passing the information to all your friends let everybody attend this examination let everybody practice it they get an idea make sure that you know the timings 11th and 12th from 10 am to 12 pm and then 12th zone 3 pm to 5 pm immediately you will come to know your results you can know what's your strength what's your weakness and which are the questions you are not able to answer send it through mail if you are not able to answer some questions we will answer it we will address it and you will come to know where you are going wrong and where you are going strong it will give an idea for you people to get prepared for kct examination don't leave it ask your friends to attend our uh, this particular mock examinations also uh, you know the pattern we will be having 60 questions and 60 marks totally 180 questions and 180 marks you'll be having it okay and also i thought of giving you a brief idea about why we have to take up this examination what is the fun of taking this examination what i'm going to get where i can go there are a lot of options is there for kct it's a beautiful option for young minds okay and take up courses in a top colleges for a very less amount through merit not through money easily you can get government seats for a very throw away price so first one is that i'll tell you after k city you can take up b engineering course in most of the colleges in karnataka almost all colleges in karnataka they accept k city ranking including our college dhanan sagar college we accept our k city ranking after k city you can go to veterinary science and there's a lot of lot of uh, demand for veterinary science. You complete veterinary science, you will get government seats immediately, government uh, job immediately. Because there is too much of demand, less supply. Sir, I can nowadays you can go for pharmaceutical field. You can do B pharma, bachelor in pharmacology. And then you can do pharma D. So what is this pharma D? It is a doctorate, doctorate in pharmacology. You, you are almost like equivalent to MBBS. It is a doctor in pharmacology, pharma D. Sir, there is a lot of demand nowadays for yoga and naturopathy. Even yoga and naturopathy comes under KCT only. By using KCT marks, you can get into institutions having yoga and naturopathy by a merit. And then at last, you can also enter into farm sciences. So what is farm sciences? There are many courses are there in farm sciences. I just give you an idea. Veterinary science, we have five colleges. We don't have any private colleges. We have only five government colleges. Look at the number of seats. Only 300 seats. You can get medical, but it's difficult to get veterinary because number of seats are very less. But through KCT, you can get veterinary. And these are what I told you, pharma courses. The number of pharma courses are there and there's a lot of demand for this. B.S. Agriculture, B.S. Agriculture, Horticulture, Forestry, Biotechnology, Community Science, Food Technology, Dairy Technology, Fisheries. So many courses are there. And all these courses you can get a government seat. No need to pay a large amount of money. You can get government seats, my dear friends, only just by taking up KCT information. So what about this particular pharmaco pharmacology? You can do Bachelor in Pharmacology. There is a lot, there are many government colleges are there which are giving a training in this pharmacology. You can get into very good industries. You are having a doctorate in pharmacology. Most soft after course in a Western countries, it is almost equal to a doctorate in medicine or MBBS. And what I have given at the right side is the cutoff marks to get these particular courses. Say GM means general merit. Just take ranking of 7550. You can get a government seat, general merit, and GMK means general merit Canada. So these are the cutoff marks in a different colleges, what I give. You can easily get it, provided you have a very good ranking. 
So coming to this naturopathy and yoga, as I told you, you can also get free seat and a government seat in many of the institution under KCT. Coming to engineering. In engineering, we have many examinations. We have many examinations. One of the examination for this particular engineering is KCT. Most of them. You can get into almost all colleges in Karnataka. All colleges in Karnataka. By clearing KCT, sir. Of course, you have JE also. Now, I will not talk about JE. I will just restrict myself to KCT. Like there many engineering colleges are there which are having their own uh, examination also. For example, then is our college. We have DSAT examination. You can take out DSAT examination. Based on the merit, we give admission to our colleges. You can apply to our DSAT. You can take up the examination. You can come to our campus. We have a fantastic campus. We have a fantastic campus in entire Karnataka. We have a very good campus placement. You people can come and join our courses. Just take up our DSET examination and also KCT. We have an entrance to both KCT. From KCT also you can join us. From DSET also you can join us. There are, as I told you, there are many examinations for this engineering courses in Karnataka, including ours. We, ours is a DSET. Okay. And if you look at this one, if you take up KCT examinations, okay, most of the colleges in government colleges, they give 100% seat only for KC. 100% seat is only uh, present only for KCT students. Sir. In a private aided, 95% is for KCT students. In a, even private unaided, 45% is for KCT. That is the advantage. Just clear KCT with a good rank, you can get into all the colleges. Any colleges you can get. It. Then look at the fees. What is the advantage of getting through merit? Clear KCT, get a government seat. And what is the advantage, sir? Look at the fees. How much you have to pay? Where they are very nominal, just 500 rupees. In a government college, what you have to pay is 500 rupees. You get more in scholarship only. If you get a merit seat, you get more amount in scholarship to me. What you're paying is very nominal, very nominal. That's the advantage getting a government seat. And even in private, how much you pay? Just 40,000. In private, you around 50,000. That is the advantage of clearing KCT. Why this Larnodia program is done by Dayanand Sagar University? Just to make sure that most of our students should get a government seat. They can save a lot of money for their parents. Money for parents. And also, getting a merit seat, you are eligible for a lot of scholarship. And there is a very, very much possibility that you get into campus placement very easily. This is just a few examples. Like, say, if you want to get into some colleges, you should know what is the cutoff percentage. Say, you want to join a computer. You want to do computer science in an army college. You should know what should be the, your ranking. If you are a general merit, if you are a general merit, the ranking should be around 573. So all this what I have given is a ranking required for the particular courses in a engineering college. Easily it is available in net. You people can download and you can see, you can check where you stand. Say you want to you want to get this particular biotechnology courses, your ranking should be 7627. No. That means. This year, your ranking should be around 700, 7,000. Generally, you will get, get, get a biotechnology course in Norway. Say, computers, the cutoff is 573 last time. That means this year, you should be around 500. Generally, you can get into computer science course in Norway college. Like that, all the cutoff percentage of colleges are available in net. Please go through it, download it, you get an idea what should be your ranking also. Okay, my dear students, thank you for being with us. Okay, and our Dhanan Sagar University has done a fantastic job of conducting this particular Larno They are two program for the students who want to get into government colleges and all the engineering college and to get a government seat. That's what we wanted so that you can save lot of money and also you can get into 
very good places and very good colleges also and please study very well three days are there take up our mock examinations and practice it any doubt please mail us we will address it we will address it and i would like to uh, conclude my session here we have many speakers uh, pawan sir is this pawan is there and swami sir is there and uh, our vc sir also wants to have a few words with you i would like to conclude my uh, talk here shinde sir over to you yeah thank you so much sir it was a wonderful insight it gives a lot of smart understanding to students especially who are currently under pressure when they go through such kind of programs and you know they have the very much thinking that the examinations are now on the head but yes as as you rightly said couple of these mock tests if they take the confidence will grow up and as you rightly said there is no new topic that they should take but based on what has been the pattern if they look at smartly going through the advice i am sure they will be able to get some good success out of it so thank you so much sir uh i would now like to invite the honorable vice chancellor sir for dayanand sagar university to please express his views and of course the special guidance to the students on how they could look at this particular program that has you know that actually concludes today as a smart way of preparing themselves for the mock test as well as for the examination that happens in the coming week over to you sir thank you mission good afternoon a warm welcome to all of you my friends from asmat guru a miss shinde and his team and all the students i am extremely happy to be a part of this event a concluding session i was also there in the inaugural uh, session also i am extremely happy that uh, the experts from asmat guru have given you enough tips to work on so that you succeed in your endeavor to crack the kcet examination why did dayanand sagar university do that dayanand sagar university did this only to assist the students to prepare for an examination like this is a competitive examination you all aware that the entrance exams are always the exams for preparing the ranking and it's a kind of uh, ordering the students in terms of uh, their marks two or three points that you need to remember which my friends from asmat guru have covered already first and the foremost thing is uh, you have gone through the training in the last 21 days more or less you got some idea with regard to answering the questions in a faster way and accurate way on is faster speed and accuracy is the essence of all entrance exams the second that you also need to understand is that with practice you will be able to master it and you will be able to take the examination with lot more confidence than before therefore uh, appear for as many mock tests as possible then make an evaluation for yourself where you need to do it better so that you have time till the cet examination and the other examinations this second aspect of uh, uh, the objective of this is to prepare the students for an examination if you are prepared for case set it is nothing but the preparation for other exams as well as you try to extrapolate if you are use the same preparation for multiple exams it clearly means you have done extremely well means you have got the concept of generalization you have understood the concept really well you are banking on your conceptual knowledge than preparing for each exams separately i think that is one thing which you need to master over a period of time the next point i would also request you to understand is that you understand what would be the kind of ranking that's been given how exactly the rankings got happen 
It has already been indicated by uh, Professor Ravishankar. However, if you just look at, it's an examination for about 180 marks. Say, case it. The maximum mass scored by any student, because I've closed about 1.6 to 1, 2 lakh students about taking. Roughly, if your score is above 160, then there's a possibility of uh, getting the ranks around to less than 200, less than 100 kind of a thing. That's possible. That's the, the so, prediction. So, with the network? Yeah. That's the expectation. The second thing is, if at all you get a score around 150 to 160, there's a possibility of getting a rank uh, less than 500, which gives you a chance of joining an institute of your choice. And most importantly, all these things have to be carefully understood depending upon your uh, interest, depending upon your talent, depending upon your, and also the, uh, the, the flair for a particular program. Quite often, I get uh, a question from the students about the following. Which uh, institute and which program is better? Is the program important? Is the institute important, etc.? In my, my standard answer to all the students is that both are not as important as your passion. You need to have that passion to do that program study. Therefore, ensure that you are very clear about what you intend to study, you are clear about your the future plans as far as your uh, interseconds and the passion is going to be very, very important. Then after the examination, I think for the examination next uh, three to four days, one of the key things that you have to do is you have to be manage your sleep and the study schedules. Sleep well, don't lose sleep, plan it well, do it in a smarter way. You ensure that you are going to maximize your understanding with mark tests and other things. You start gaining confidence. And as uh, Professor Ravishing correctly pointed out, try out uh, some topics which you are comfortable with. You ensure that all kinds of problems have been worked out on the topics which you know really well. All kinds of things. Then the difficult ones, spend a little bit more time in the next uh, three to four days so that you also got a good hold on the difficult components also. And most important, the examination. Be cool and calm and write the examination. I'm sure most of you will be able to do well. Not much of a difficulty. Because it's all a kind of an examination which you give you that way, this way, a little bit, to one or two marks here and there. Don't have to worry too much about it. Therefore, what I would strongly recommend is if your preparation is really good, you are bound to score better, better marks in the CET examination, thereby you get a better rank, thereby you get an institute of your choice and a program of your choice. After the, the examination, you also start preparing a list of choices and other things, the institute and the program of study. For example, you want uh, an institute and computer science. Make that the choice one. You want that institute, say mechanical engineering, that becomes choice two. Prepare the choice and in the order of preference, that what needs to be done, one should do it. In the next three to four days, what I would strongly recommend is whatever that has been done in the last, uh, please revise it once. Second, you list out uh, the, the kind of difficult topics that you have, write to us. If at all you need any assistance, any help that's required, please write to us. We will be able to help you out. Give you more questions on any topic that you're interested in. We'll also give you the, the kind of tips required or the kind of uh, briefing required on any topic which you are finding it difficult. The experts are going to be available. We are also ready to give you the recording of what has been done. And you can also write to us about your doubts in the next uh, three to four days. I'm sure each one of uh, these things will be uh, attended to 
on priority. And Dhananand Sagar University has started this Lavnodaya program with the intent that we will help our students preparing for an entrance exam of, uh, of the standard of KCET and also helping you to better your concepts and ensure that your conceptual knowledge is really good. I'm sure if you have gone through all the uh, things that have been done in the last 21 days, you are sure to succeed. You do really, really well. And Dhananand Sagar University is going to look forward to your success. Look forward to your uh, progress in terms of the getting a best institute of your choice and a best program of your choice and doing really well in your life. I think with this uh, few words, I wish each one of you best of luck. I am also very confident each one of you are unique. Never ever compare yourself with anybody else. And each one of you are good in all things that you have studied. And this is also another point that you have to remember. If there are 10 students, 10 students are going to be good in 10 different topics. So whatever you are good in one topic, the other person is good in the other topic. Please exchange the notes, have discussions. Both of you stand to benefit through these discussions. I'm sure this group study will also help. The discussion will also help. And you can also discuss with our teachers. I'm sure the... the uh, if you are going to succeed in your examinations, the intent with which this program has been laid out or put out for you, the purpose is served and will continue to come back to you in your uh, endeavors to succeed. If Dhananand Sagar University of uh, any help, assistance, please write to us. We will be able to help you out and wish each one of you best of luck and thank the organizers for giving me this wonderful opportunity to talk to you in the valedictory or the wrap-up session of this Lagodaya. And most importantly, I would like to thank the, the, uh, the friends from uh, Asmat Guru who have taken tremendous uh, uh, effort in doing this program or making this program really interesting. The feedback has been phenomenal. I think we'll come back with... Uh, bigger and better to help more students in the coming years. And this particular program will continue. I wish each one of you best of luck once again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, it was a great thought uh, behind launching, you know, last year, the activity with Asmat Guru, who have put in tremendous efforts, uh, you know, both last year as well as this year. When, you know, last year when we launched the session one, there was a lot of dilemma whether the students are going to write the examinations or not. And, you know, the schools were unable to terminate their sessions because they never knew when the exams are going to be there. So they continued with their programs. In spite of all of that, we had we had got into an arrangement and we started the Lagno Daya session one last year. And we were fully prepared to go online. There was a good amount of uh, you know, technology component was brought in and we learned a new way of running programs online and very effectively. Second, when we launched Larnodaya session two this year, hats off to Asmat Guru. They were really in with their lot of technology improvements, which we could see today. And uh, they have been able to drive the sessions for students in such an exemplary manner where they enjoyed the sessions. We have more than, you know, a couple of hundreds of feedbacks that have come in. There are many students who could not take the online session, but kept requesting us for the recorded sessions. And they are very thankful for the recorded sessions. And we feel happy when we see the feedback coming in. In fact, feedback from students is a motivation for all of us. So I, I would like to thank Asmat Guru and the entire team for the lovely experiential training that they have provided to the students, which has benefited them a lot. We have input from parents and they have thanked Dayan and Sagar University for bringing in such kind of a program. And we promise the upcoming students that we will take this to the next level you know, by next year. And we'll have much more 
encouraging and much more promising sessions coming in for students which will benefit them in in the long run for any kind of examinations uh, any kind of entrance examinations that take so uh, a big thanks to asmat guru and team and we look forward to strengthening our 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 relation on the go while we say this a big thank to all the students you know students are today the ambassadors for all of these programs if you are happy we are happy if you are satisfied we are satisfied and i would like to thank all the parents the students who have taken out their time and every day religiously from morning 8 o'clock to 12 30 they are available and a big thank to all the faculties of asmat guru who have been scheduled for this 21 days program systematically it has been done my big thanks to anikesh mr manoj mr ravi mr bagli who are from the dhan and sagar team as well as the coordinator mr anikesh who has precisely every day at 7 o'clock from the morning he used to make sure that the link is available the things are there if there are any trouble he is able to sort it out bring out all the solutions and make sure that the experience of the student is phenomenal so a big thanks to all of you and at the end i would on on behalf of this university i request all the students take advantage of this mock test that is going to be organized tomorrow and day after tomorrow the links the schedules the timings has been sent to all of you take the advantage build up your confidence go all out and in with a very confident posture when you are able to go and write your cet exams i'm sure you will be successful you will be successful with good outcomes and you will definitely be able to go to the dream institution that you have been dreaming about to get into with your schools and we will be very happy if you are able to get the college of your choice with this and with the permission of all all the people on on the call right now i would like to conclude with this program of the wrap up session for larno daya session 2 we will look forward to next year and come back with some real good sessions where the students are going to enjoy and they are going to fulfill their dreams of getting good marks and good college of their choice thank you so much stay safe and if you have any queries if you want any other recording session of the previous days please do get in touch with the numbers that have been shared with in the email and in all the communication about larno daya and the entire team at dan and sagar university will be happy to guide you for all of this including your mock test which is tomorrow and the day after tomorrow thank you so much and we look forward to some very good responses and we would love to see the marks of the cet of all the students who have been a part of this program if you are successful we will be blessed and we will be thankful to all our faculties for giving that kind of an experience sharing to all of you thank you so much and we look forward to seeing you very soon for the mock test thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much sir thank uh, you thank you very much thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much smart sir ali sir hemant sir nikesh everybody really huh? we will get in touch soon and we'll take the program forward for the next year yes, start sir. working on it now itself sure sir sure sir yes sir so students i would like to tell you that now you can register for the mock test for both uh, 11th and 12th so uh, link is in the chat box i have already shared and whoever not received the link can just uh, let me know i'll share you right now yes surya yes sir i'll just clear the doubts of students and we'll end the session in few minutes sir precious yes sir sir srinath sir there is a question for you only sir okay please sir can you share the pdf which you presented that one 
yes sir hello okay if you want i'll present no, it no, no, no. No, no, sir, they want the PDF for that. So, sir, it's like we can upload in the drive link, sir. Oh, now only I can do it. Yeah, yeah, sir. So, share How it. Will I do it? Upload. Sir, you can share it to me on WhatsApp. I'll do it. Okay, one second. Students, please check your chat box. I've shared the registration link again. Prithvi, I have again shared the link in the chat box. Please go through it. Devjit, I've sent. Yeah, Josna, that same link. But uh, like the necessary changes are done, so you can just apply for both 11th and 12th. Please check once, and if it's not there, just let me know. Reference material link, Mona Lisa, is in the chat box. You can go through it, and you can just click on the link, and you'll get the materials and everything. And on the case recording also you can send some students. yes sir uh, sir i have already shared in the chat box sir. recording Fine. sessions and uh, all all three Fine. three links thank you thank you yes sir Anikesh, so, i have already shared again. the pdf yes sir uh, i'll just upload it sir no problem yeah students will find the uh, pdf which you need in the drive link itself so you need not have to worry about that the time is for 60 yeah yeah suma it's for 60 70 minutes any other questions for me uh no sir i think all our faculty members i think they have left the meeting i think yes sir yeah, tv swami is there we have sir thank you very much sir swami sir swami sir is still there yeah thank you sir thank you Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very yes. much. Okay. Uh, Ali, sir, is there? No. Yeah, Ali, sir, is there, sir. Ali, sir, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for everything. <laughs> hey, sir. Sakash, sir, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, sir, it was a wonderful session, sir. It was very wonderful, informative yes, session. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Manoj, sir, thank you for your... Uh, complete follow up and all those things, sir. Really very nice. Okay, sir. Uh, can I leave the meeting, please? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank I'll you. just wind up after answering ah, all the questions. Please, sir. please, please. Okay. No problem. Yes, sir. So, Anikesh, thank you. I'm just leaving right now. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, Amit sir, sir. You can also leave the session, sir. Yeah, Dhruva, it's the same link uh, which we gave, gave, I gave you yesterday, the same link for 11th of June. Uh, just check it now, like you can apply for uh, both dates. I have shared you the link in the chat box just now. Surya, those night is written already, I have filled. Um, so maybe you can't now, you have to do it later. Yes, Ashwarya, you want to say something? You just raised your hand. Yeah, welcome, media for the mock test link. All it's showing. Uh, may, yeah, maybe you guys have uh, used the same mail ID and you're doing that's why. Thank you so much. Okay, students, any other questions, any doubts? You can ask now. It's the last day, last hour. Mm, okay. Yeah, Surya, do you want to ask something? Sure. I'm yes, showing sir. you, uh, like, uh, you have already responded, you can't uh, respond again. Uh, maybe, Surya, then you we... have already filled the form by using the same mail ID, that's why. Uh, so, um, like, uh, should I use some other mail ID? Yeah, yeah, you can, you can. Yeah, okay, so thank you, thank you. Sir. Yeah. Ashwarya, you want to say something? Maybe not. It's showing that I have. Dhruva, the same procedure you followed yesterday. You have to use different 
mail id is but the people who didn't register before they can register now with using the one mail id for two dates devjit you have applied before also yeah pratham you'll get the mail yeah yeah you'll get the mail id in uh, sorry you'll get a mail for attending the mock test don't worry about that you'll get the links of the test last year to talk with you uh, yeah kachita i'll miss you guys don't worry